Our next story is about Jack Ma, one of China's richest men, the founder of Alibaba and the Ant Group, also China's most recognizable entrepreneur. Jack Ma used to be China's biggest asset. He has now become a liability for his own business. He's already moved on from Alibaba, and now Jack Ma is planning to step back from the Ant Group too. This story is about his fall from grace. For the past two years, Jack Ma has been MIA, missing in action. What's, what has he been up to? Recently, he was on a tour of Europe. He was spotted at restaurants in Austria and later at a university in the Netherlands. What was Jack Ma doing there? Learning about sustainable agriculture, we're told. It sounds a lot like retirement, because it is. Jack Ma is ceding control of the Ant Group. It hasn't happened officially, but he seems to have made up his mind. Reports say he will relinquish control of the Ant Group. He's been out of the public eye for two years now, and there are no plans of coming back. And the reason for that is the Communist Party. Jack Ma has fallen out of favor with the rulers of China. The billionaire is still paying the price for criticizing the Chinese state. Now, for those who don't know about this, here's a quick recap. The year is 2020. Jack Ma was addressing a summit in Shanghai. It was a high-profile event. Top officials from China's financial, regulatory and political establishment were present. And Jack Ma went after them. He slammed Chinese regulators for stifling innovation. He said Chinese banks suffered from what he called a pawn shop mentality. In fact, I have the quote. In the old days, a pawn shop was an advanced idea had it not been for innovations such as pledges and collateral, there would be no financial institutions today and the Chinese economy would not have developed over the past 40 years to such a point now. Those words cost Jack Ma dearly. Within a few days, his ant group was supposed to go public. It was going to be China's biggest IPO, initial public offering. Beijing torpedoed it. What was the loss? A whopping $37 billion. But that was just the beginning. Jack Ma did not just lose his IPO, he lost his reputation. Before criticizing the Chinese state, Ma had a rock star reputation. He was called Daddy Ma. He performed in rock concerts for his employees. He starred in short films. There was a sort of a halo around Jack Ma. He was an inspiration for the youth. But Beijing's move painted a target on his back, and once that happened, Jack Ma lost his invincibility. He was called a villain, an evil capitalist, even a blood-sucking ghost. There were articles written about Jack Ma's mistakes. One of them headlined, Jack Ma's 10 Deadly Sins. Behind the scenes, China was dismantling his empire. Once the IPO was nixed, Beijing came down hard, an antitrust investigation was announced. The Ant Group was broken up. Its operations were split into different companies. Earlier, the investors valued the Ant Group at $300 billion. Do you know how much the company is worth today? Less than $30 billion. According to one estimate, less than $30 billion. Look at the massive drop from $300 billion to less than 30. The Ant Group has been devalued by 10 times. Jack Ma has tried to revive his fortunes. Attempts were made to list the Ant Group today but it hasn't happened yet. And even if it does, it won't be the same. It's no longer the same group. Jack Ma has already distanced himself from the company. He doesn't hold an executive role. He doesn't have a seat on the board, but even that has not helped because Jack Ma still remains a larger than life presence at the group, the Ant Group. He still owns a little more than 50% of this company and that is still seen as a liability. Jack Ma is now kryptonite for the Ant Group. He has no option but to bite the bullet. He will have to give up voting power to revive the IPO. And that is why he's stepping back. His exit could give the Ant Group a chance at revival. But what would that mean for Jack Ma himself? He was once the face of Chinese innovation, the man who went from being an English teacher to a pizza delivery guy to the biggest entrepreneur in China, the most recognizable ambassador for brand China. He was legendary. And it's that reputation that got him into trouble. China has made an example out of Jack Ma. His fall is supposed to send a message to all Chinese entrepreneurs. If they become larger than life, if they cross a line, they will be the next in line to be demolished.
Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.